We're with Paul Garagosian here outside Breck and Grill on South Ann Arbor Street where you've got uh, a large dining room now. First of all, tell us when you opened it and how business has been since you've reopened. So we opened uh, June 16th, uh, Tuesday, June 16th. Our, our normal opening day at the beginning of the week was Tuesdays, so we decided to open on a Tuesday. Um, we were in the process of putting a, a fresh coat of paint on the inside of the restaurant when she announced that we could open. And the timing wise, it made sense for us to open, you know, 10 days or two weeks after she, she or a week after she allowed that. And uh, I mean, it's Tuesday through Saturday right now, four to 11, uh, kitchen closed at 10 p.m. Hopefully if there's a, an increase in capacity, then our, our hours will change accordingly with that as well. And we'll add some lunches in there for our weekend lunches and then eventually Sundays. But at the time right now, it's difficult to have 50% capacity and expect to do 100% of sales. Right. You know, so sales wise and how it affects us there a little bit is if we're at 50% inside, that puts us down because we are one of the smaller places in town, around 40, 45 seats. Yeah. And our other bills are still at 100%. So we're listed at 50% capacity, but DTE still charges us 100% of our electric bill. Right. 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 And so um, with that, I mean, you have limited staff that you're able to bring back. All of our staff, uh, as far as all of our servers in front of the house staff came back. Um, kitchen staff, the ones that we can bring back right now because it is limited capacity, uh, we brought back. Uh, hopefully we'll add more to it as, as far as the capacity continues to go. I mean, we were off for 90 days. You know, I called it, my joke is we had 90 days in the hole. You know, I felt like we were in prison and not able to do something for our yeah. staff. So, because that was, that was really where it came down, down, down to it was, is our staff doing it right? And, and can yeah. they survive? The shutdown. So, what do you think? Uh, what do you think of this plan to, to open this up uh, Fridays and Saturdays here on South Ann Arbor Street? You got a, I don't know how many, how much seating you have? Well, new seating? Know, Fifty seats, I guess you can say. So that doubles your capacity. If if it doubles it, my capacity, yeah, for it, I think it's I think it's a, a great idea as long as the weather holds up. You know, as soon as it rains, all bets are off, and and then we go to less capacity inside because the difficulty right now is yes, we are at fifty percent capacity. But who's comfortable sitting inside? Right. And I would say out of that 50% capacity, maybe 25% of it or 30% of it gets filled yeah. because people are not comfortable going inside just yet in, yeah. in the restaurants. Outside dining right now is key. I think that, that Celine following the lead of other cities as well that are doing it, I think is a great idea. Um, Fridays and Saturdays obviously is where our, our busiest time is. So I think that, that utilizing those days is great. I'd love to see again, like I said before, if they add some music in the street or add Thursday nights once it gets going and they see how it works out. Um, Sundays are a little bit sleepy and slow in Celine right now. And I think that that's because Sundays are normally that slowest day of the, the week right. for most businesses. What time do you open tomorrow? Four o'clock. Okay. So is we're it? open four o'clock on two, four to 11 p.m. Tuesday through Saturday, so every day, so it's not confusing on it. Kitchen closes at 10 p.m. every single day that we're open. What can you tell me about the specials you got or uh, dishes that you want to people to know about this weekend? Well, we, we started some fish tacos um, that we put on the menu. We redid our menu a little bit. Um, we added some mussels and clams as far as a small plate, a uh, small joint fish dip that, or pate that we did for a, for a small plate. Um, we're slowly going to introduce uh, features as well for the weekend. Part of it is is market dependent. You know, right now we're not going to introduce any type of beef because beef is through the roof. It's coming down a little bit. Yeah. Um, but we are going to try to get a little more creative on, on some pastas and some, some lighter dishes and gazpachos and stuff like that that people will enjoy in the summertime. For sure. All right. Thanks a lot. I appreciate, appreciate it. it. Thank you.